Time to get on the boat. Big day ahead of us. This is how the professionals do it. Oh, it's just <laughs> I've never seen one of those yet. We broke our GoPro 10. Well, that sucks. But the rest of this adventure to Koiba National Park is going to be F and A. Let me catch this. He's not happy about this. Bye, thank you so much. The hardest thing for us whenever we go do stuff is leaving our little boy. But we have some really good people who are gonna keep an eye on him and make sure he gets outside, does a little bit of exercise. The hardest part of me is worrying that we're gonna be late. I had like stress dreams that we missed the boat, so let's go. Today we're rolling with Discover Coiba Panama, a tour company founded by a local born and raised here in Santa Catalina. So he knows these islands very well. We're getting kitted out with all of our gear. They provide everything for you. Um, I have the smallest feet in the world, so she had to go find the children's feet. <laughs> in the world? In the whole world. Can this book a world record? Yeah. Wanna give me this bag too? You sure, take all the bag. Okay, I'm ready to go. Time to get on the boat. Big day ahead of us. Carrot cake and coffee is the way you gotta go. We found some dolphins. So cool. It's about an hour ride to Koiwa. Might as well spot some stuff on the way. They're right there. They're right there. Look, look, look. Oh. oh, they're waiting for the boat. Thanks for a good wildlife guy. I used to work at a boat jet ski rental, so I used to spot dolphins all the time. I've never seen one of those yet. Is it chia pet? Yeah, very large ch 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 chia. Just, just out of the cocoa island. When we are in the water, so we can give you other ones, right? Oof. Yeah, that's what she said, put it in the water first. <laughs> we're getting ready for our first dive, we're getting our snorkels and stuff. We're gonna go around the whole island and maybe we might see sharks. If we're lucky. The water looks super clear. Frank and I are by no means professional scuba divers. I mean, look at us go. But this tour gives you everything that you need to enjoy the water. And honestly, the saltiness of the water makes it so easy to float and enjoy the fishes. Frank wants me to get him coming out of the water, but I'm just drinking my coconut. While we were down there, we made sure to grab some garbage, too. Did you know that by 2050, there'll be more plastic in the ocean than fish? Yeah. Any fish or something? So pretty. We only drove the boat like two minutes and we're going back in. I'm freezing right now, even though it's Caribbean and it's hot, and the water actually got way bluer and clearer over here even, which is crazy. I am starting to It's got water inside of it. It's got water inside of it? Like a lot? Ooh. RIP GoPro 10. It was a good run while it lasted. What did you see? I saw really long, pointy ones and shark. I swam with a shark for a little while. And that's a really cool, a big fat yellow one, a big fat black one. I showed you, but our camera broke. When you say one, what are you talking about? Fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I wasn't sure. Maybe it was like guinea pigs or something. <laughs> I got to see a stingray or a manta ray. We're about to find out right here. Yes. It was a spotted eagle ray. The <laughs> National Park, which is called the Kauda Island. We are going to register us there, and then we are going to do a little hike. And we can, you know, um, have a good view over all the area. And after that, we are going to have a lunch at a beautiful beach. So, yeah. Mm. First off, they had fresh coconuts. Now we're getting fresh watermelon. Amazing. We 
just made it to the only spot where you could actually use the bathroom here. So if you gotta do the number two, you know, you gotta do it here. Otherwise, you'll be doing it in the ocean. The fishes are hungry, so <laughs> they'll take care of it real quick. <laughs> what some of our surfer friends told us is what you do is you grab a pair of goggles, you put them on. No! You go real deep. They have a lot of similar species to the Galapagos Islands. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it used to, like, million of years ago, it used to be all together. Yes. These right here are the Coco Islands. This is Coco Grande. This is the first one that we snorkeled around, and then that one over there is the second one that we snorkeled around, that little point right there. Why does Coco Grande look so small? I don't know. Coco Pequeño, Coco Grande. <laughs> the vertebrae right here. for lunch. Looks amazing. We're set up with everything that we need for a beautiful lunch. They even brought chairs for us. And this beach is absolutely gorgeous. There's gorgeous palm trees, white sand from the coral breaking up on it. Hopefully no crocodiles, because apparently they like to hang out here too. All right, this is the vegetarian lunch. Some mini vanilla sandwich dessert. Salad, rice, veggies. Mm. What you got, Frank? I'm waiting for my fish over here. I'm getting a fancy fish. Ooh, it smells nice. The reason why we get a hotel room would be because we want hot showers, like yeah. unlimited hot showers. Yeah. Sometimes we can stay at a hostel, but stay in a van, and then we get the price like less than half. After like four nights of being in that hotel, we couldn't wait to get it back in our van. <laughs> because our, so uncomfortable. Our, like, yeah. our like back was hurting from the bed and stuff, you know? Yeah. It's like, okay, this time I'm getting free. Oh my God. Ah! No, hermit crabs were harmed in the making of the video. There's a crocodile. There's a freaking crocodile, man. And we're running towards crocodile. it for some reason, which feels like bad choice. It's super safe. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's tempting to tease him and make something happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor animal, right? Yeah. Yeah. How do you say yeah? Yeah. You say see? Si? We? Oui? You say yeah. You say yes? Yeah, oh, yeah. Our last stop is supposedly where all of the tortugas hang out. The only issue is, is we broke our GoPro 10. So maybe I take my phone. There's a chance I break that too. Okay, we were wrong. There's another hike. I thought that little hike was the only hike, but this is the bigger hike. This is like a 15 minute hike, and the boat's actually gonna pick us up from a different part of the island. So I guess we're walking straight through it. Some solar panels in the back, the old style ones. That iguana's solar powered. We all are, baby. Frank's planning his off grid Panama Island house, so he's checking the solar. This place is set up over here. We're not trapped in the forest forever. The beach is right there. Touch and go for a second there, I was a little worried. And not as worried as I was on our mud hike, but. <laughs> <laughs> that Costa Rican mud hike was gnarly. Oh, hold on, one more time, one more time. Oh. We gotta do this till you get it. Oh, that was closer. Oh, oh way off. Way off. Whoa! <laughs> we just learned that that tree makes kind of like apples, but if you eat, your whole body will swell up into a fun explosion. Sounds like a great time. So maybe don't eat those manzanillas. Built here by the Native American people, so that way when the water came in, the tide came up, the fish came in, and then when the tide would go back, the fish would stay inside, and it was just a super easy way for them to fish. 300 year old fishing technique. Fish smarter, not harder. So incredibly remote. No, like, there's nothing, which is amazing. This is called Turtle Island. So, uh, so there she is. Turtles. <laughs> Island is shaped like a turtle shell, too. So it's just a coincidence. It's just like the same thing over in Costa Rica where they have like the whale's tail that comes out. And it's one of the only places in Costa Rica where the whales go. There's a shark? Yeah. Two sharks? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. This is how the professionals do it. I'm so scared. Oh, you're too scared. <laughs> I'm taking you guys in with me.
Turtle Island did not disappoint. We got to see so many huge turtles. It was amazing and such a once in a lifetime experience that we've only had here at Coiba National Park. It is a smiling. That's my face right now. Mm -hmm. You've seen all those turtles. So many turtles. I saw four. I've seen six. It's in our competition. Yes. Oh, it's it was about an hour long cruise to get back to the most important animal in our lives. <laughs> Thank you to our Patreons who now know some very interesting information that you don't. Just about to pick up our first package. Please stop. Welcome to our guest suite. Some random guy just pulled us over. First ever ID. 